gun on campus, a scare at Coral Springs High School after police find a former student with a weapon. But it's what they found on a current student that's even more scary. A manifesto loaded with death threats. Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez live now at the school with our top story tonight. Carlos. Calvin and Lori, that journal paints a disturbing and dangerous picture of a student who said he wanted to kill more people than the shootings at Columbine, Virginia Tech and Sandy Hook. Tonight, the author is undergoing a mental health evaluation and his friend, well, he's facing some serious charges. The seven page journal dates to December of 2015 and is laced with profanity, violent thoughts and threats of a mass shooting. In one page, the author writes of longing for a girl at the school. Quote, this is why life sucks so expletive much. According to police, the journal was found on one of two people that were detained at Coral Springs High after students reported seeing one of them with a gun. It was pretty hectic. I mean, like, you know, they were pulling us in the closest costumes we could turn out the light tied under the desk and everything. Police said a 17 year old ex student showed the gun to a friend at the school when someone saw the weapon and alerted school police. The student who penned the journal later told investigators his friend told him quote today is the day it's going down. And those girls did you know what we hope students do is they don't just shrug it off walk away or, or not tell they immediately notified our law enforcement and in the end it, it resulted in, a, in an outcome that was positive. The school off sample road was on lockdown for part of the day. Students shared photos of officers with their guns drawn as parents raced to the school to pick up their kids. Oh, gun inside the school. Come on. It's not accepted anymore. This right. happens so often and everywhere. All right, and so tonight police uh, said that the ex student that was arrested is facing several charges, including having a gun on school property and trespassing. Police do believe that the pair had in the past talked about a shooting at this school. We're live tonight in Coral Springs. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News. What a scare, Carlos. Thanks a lot.